Love this intro right here. tuning in to high society where music art and lifestyles in effect so biggie g feels, yo feels great to get back in the studio yeah it's crazy we back we back back again <laughs> guess who's back? back back again dang dude so we've been doing a lot of showcases been out haven't been in the studio doing our podcast show talking about music art and lifestyle but uh, today we're going to be talking about genres and how DJs should tap into a variety of BPMs, right? Yes, most definitely. And um, one that showcase that we did was the reggaeton and house. How did you feel for coming out for the first time? Man, it was nerve-wracking. I, I was super nervous, and I was super hard on myself that night. I felt like I could have done better, but I did my best, honestly. Yes, that's how you learn from experience, right? Yeah. But if you uh, had to do it again, what would you do differently? Add more uh, more backup songs and mm. more nuevo reggaeton. Like, I'll, I do like the old, but the new one is just, it's more easier to mix. Why is reggaeton so hard to mix, though? Well, we got most most of the reggaeton songs are four bars and it's it's really easy to to mix that part but the beat sounds different it really do, it does Especially sound different when you sample it right 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 and on the sample point it, it doesn't hit the the next bar it's like a half a bar off yeah it's weird or a clap and then when you loop a song and you're trying to mix that song with the the one that's already playing it's it it doesn't read it right and so you you literally have to beat match it through the headphones. You can't just put sync on. Yeah, so. no, it takes some preparation. It's not easy. Yeah, you gotta know how to cue, fade, drop the uh, the ISOs right. Yeah, and uh, we're we're talking about dropping like fast. It's not like house where you could just like uh, da da da. Right you know, through, huh? yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. it's just it, it's just gonna be like okay, you're gonna drop it. At this point, and you're gonna write out the song in the middle and then drop it again. So I felt like I was at a club when I was doing that because it was just repetitive and I had to usually break on the acapella mostly. Right. So, yeah. But, you know, as far as genres, do you believe that all DJs should learn all of them and why? I think DJs should definitely learn all the genres. It's kind of like reaching to different avenues and more opportunities. Yeah, definitely more opportunities, right? It doesn't make you an exclusive DJ, house DJ, you know? It, it gives you opportunities in how? Well, it gives you opportunities to different clubs. So let's say that club plays techno, and you learn how to play techno, so yeah. you're at that club, and so on and so forth with house Reggaeton, salsa, merengue, cumbia. cumbias. So yep, you could play true. at house parties. I mean, it, you could be more versatile and you could be more open to more job job offers, basically. Like, for instance, we know a DJ that does it that very well. It's DJ Nono. He definitely showcased on one of our, our events. It was the Perreo on House. Yeah. And he did phenomenal. He knew how to mix hip hop, Latin music, and house all together. It was beautiful. Yeah. He does it very well. I think it's <laughs> yeah. quinceañeras, weddings, or any bar. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, when I seen DJ No No, I mean, he looks like he got a lot of hours on on his resume because yeah, no, it's just like true. it's transitions are so smooth. 
And once you drink a little bit, I mean, it, it sounds even better, <laughs> you know? What did you think about the uh, showcase we did in Santa Monica at the Nameless Bar? Nameless Bar? I really like that bar. It's just very fancy, more upscale. And what was the genre there? That genre was mostly house music. But it did have like hip hop, like DJ Nomadic. He brought in Easy E, Boys from the Hood, I heard. Uh, but he went back to New uh, Wave with New Order, uh, mm. Blue Monday, remember? Yeah, Blue Monday. Oh, dude, I love that song. That was so. a badass mix. Hey, shout yeah. out to DJ Nomadic, you badass Nomadic. dude. Yeah, I love his mask too, man. I know, he has that on. I'm like, dude, how can you see the buttons? Dude, I didn't, you know what really attracted me? Because I'm like a wrestling fan, like Mexican wrestling fan. I love all the masks, and I grew up in that one. I saw him wear the mask. I said, I yeah, I, I was really intrigued. I wanted to listen to his. No, song. yeah, yeah. It's just, I was like, damn, this guy's like coming in like a wrestler. I'm like, what he's gonna bring to the table? So, no, yeah, I, I like his uh, set. It was really dope, and a lot of people enjoyed it. No, and we did a phenomenal uh, video for him. I believe that we caught the crowd. We caught him mixing. He even scratched. Oh, yeah. I don't even see DJ Scratch no, no more, dude. What's up reals. with that? We need more Scratch DJs, dude, for real. If you're a house DJ and you and you can scratch, you got my attention because they don't even scratch. Nobody scratches. Yeah, I feel like no one does it or in e general. Or even ju uh, juggle, you know, if you can juggle the beat and scratch. On a digital deck. Yeah. Yeah. Sensei yeah. right there. Right, right. But yeah, what do you think about the the bar? Do you think it was cool? I love the bar of Nameless. Yeah, Nameless. Yeah, no, it was very nice. The owner is super cool. Uh what can I say about it? The only thing I would make better, the DJ booth. Yeah, the DJ booth was kind of sketch. Yeah, I was hot, dude. I was just hooking up the camera gear. Yeah. Sweating bullets, dude. I had a skunk line here and a skunk Well, not line. only that, it was, and like, <laughs> built on the platform. It, it looked like it was about to break. I know, right? It was, like, just wood. <laughs> it wasn't, like, Dude, how many no DJs pillars? were up there at one time? No, for real. <laughs> and then people were, like, coming on stage with their friends and shit. Yeah, the so, uh, Nomadics was so upset, dude. He said they were tugging on his, on his pants. Really? Yeah, and he couldn't mix because he was tr keep turning around. That's weird. Yeah, no, nah, he, he was disappointed, but I felt that he did good, man. Yeah. He did really good. As, as, as far as I know, he did excellent. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. Anyways, so what genre do you think you're going to play next? Well, I want to go with the what the crowd want to listen to, and then I think the crowd wants to listen to house and tech because... It's still in, still popular. Yeah, no, we got DJ it. spinning that all night on TikTok, so yeah. I want to hop hop on on that trend, so and give what they want to listen to. But other than DJing, what else do you do? Well, I shoot photography on the side. Oh, uh, he got a little business going. If you need somebody to take those special photos, we know the person right here. I got you. I shoot digital film, so. I got a best of both worlds. I know. We just came back from Utah and we stopped by stopped by a couple shops. Very impressive. Yeah. It it was crazy. I I saw like this Pelican case. It was like three hundred dollars. I'm like, sheesh. But it keeps all my equipment nice and like, you know, it just Organized. looks cool. Yeah. You know, imagine pulling it up with that case. They said this is the real deal. Yeah, you High know, society. No right? more backpack and nah. I don't know. It's more um, professional, you know. Absolutely, and you have to play the part. And to be taken seriously, you have to have the equipment. You know, speaking about taking serious, and we we did that podcast at the bar, and Jax and Shakti were all like, "Whoa, you know, this is like." I feel like this is a real podcast. I was, oh, that's right. I was hurt. I was oh, hurt. Why? I was like, why? Because they doubted us. I'm like, dude, we got the roadcaster. Dude. We got the headphones. We got the mics, you know? We got the shirts. Look at this. Yeah. yeah they're more amazed. They're hey, not... speaking about that, they're going to battle. Oh, Shakti and Jax. Yeah. Dude, it's going to be a badass DJ battle Saturday March 9th at the Lemon Tap House show up. It's going to be nice. Yep. Coin flip 
for the winner gets to pick who who starts first. Two hours set, hundred dollar prize. Wow. Who do you go for? Who's your player? Well, I'm putting all my money on Shock D because oh, <laughs> I, I love Jax. I love Jax. Jack, okay, let me tell you about Jax. And then I'll talk about Shock D because okay. she, she's my favorite too. But yeah. I, I like both. Jax, we've recorded her. She's been a hit on YouTube. And she co- she's coming out swinging, dude. 153 beats per minute. Quoting Jax, she's coming out. Well, that's crazy, you know, like starting at that <laughs> BPM. I mean, I I would expect, you know, like 135 or, you know, around like, like 133 maybe to you warm know? up the, you know, the platform. You know, we're already starting with 153. Like, dude, shit. let me tell you, man, I love DJ Tones, dude. And he was going to go after Jax. Right. And Jax is just ripping up the stage and it, the people are dancing. And, <laughs> and I see Tones just pacing back and forth. And he's thinking, dude, how am I going to transition to 153 to... He plays house tech, you know? Yeah, he plays, like, calm, Texas, like, groovy music. Groovy, yeah, very groovy tech house, right? And he's, like, probably maybe, I don't know, 128 at the highest. You know? Yeah, yeah, Tones is very, like, chill vibe. And yeah, he, he was like the crowd going. He was, he was really nervous. He was really, really nervous. That would be, too, because Jazz was, like, bam, 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 That bam, night, bam, I was, bam. like, damn, dude, this sounds dope. We I, were, like, in Belgium, dude. Yeah, you know, just, like. Boom, 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 boom. And then just like another heartbeat. We're going up. We're going up. So so it was like a free high, you know? Yeah. And so with Shakti, I've only heard her play Tech House with Latin Vibe. And I I thought she did wonderful. She had great ta- transitions. But I don't know about her hard house. Tech, techno. Well, she's going to play techno. That's, so that's the part. I, I believe in her because, you know, she comes up with like unique songs, and I think she's gonna. Oh yeah, she's gonna put in like crazy like songs, and the hey, whole set is gonna be dope. Her music's from YouTube, right? Yeah, that underground, you know. No, she, she doesn't buy anything. <laughs> she doesn't buy any songs. I like that, dude. So I, I think it's still good. I mean, no, no, I'm not the way, saying that the waveform is gonna be wav, or I think it's flack. But what I'm saying is that. The stuff that's not like commercial, she's gonna have that underground shit. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah most definitely. Because most people buy it from DJ pools. Yes. Mostly from uh, B port, buy songs and start from there. You know. Yeah, Jack says she likes to uh, pay the artist. Yeah, that's yeah. But that's okay. You know, I mean, like power to the artist. Now these artists that are producers and DJs. They put out records, you know, and they're on a platform making three cents of a download. There's there's no... Well, maybe a little bit more, like $2. No way $2. Well, it's <laughs> pennies, dude. Maybe if you sold a record, you'll get $2 these days. Yeah. Nah, dude. Is There's no money in, in, medi- in uh, music media. Uh, I, re- I, right. I collect records, and that's where the money's at. Yeah, we got a lot of records. Yeah. But other than that, Saturday, March 9th, we have the Techno Royal Rumble. DJ Jax versus Shakti. It's going to be a battle, techno battle. You got to show up, check it out. Yep. Coin flip at 930. Who starts first? Two doom, hour doom, sets. Doom, 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 Winner doom, gets a hundred bucks. Yep. Most definitely. I'm going to be there, you know, taking pics. So bring your best outfits, you know. Yeah. Bring your friends. Get ready to pump up the volume. I bring my friends. Sound system from and the nineties. We can 90s. all be friends. <laughs> you know, you know the vibe. Dude, you know the vibes. It's gonna be nice, man. Anyways, this is high society where music, art, and lifestyles in effect. Thanks for tuning in. Until yeah. next time, yo, peace out. Yo. Boom, boom. High Society Studios. What up to all the DJs? C Boy Crew. I think we got this one right. 
Yeah, I feel more confident on this episode. Yeah, the confidence was more up there. 